In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called factoring a perfect square trinomial with leading coefficient greater than one. And we can factor this by a couple different approaches. I can factor these with trial and error or the AC method just as we have before. But since we're told it's a perfect square trinomial, I can recall that whenever I have a perfect square trinomial, that means that a plus b squared would be some a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, or an a minus b squared would be an a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So how would that help us factor this polynomial? I would be essentially working backwards here and say if I could write it like this, I would be able to go backwards in one easy step. So first notice that on the right hand side I have these a squareds. I could rewrite this first one as being a 5x squared. I also notice that the last term has to be squared. And here our last term is 1, but I can write that as a 1 squared. And then in the middle, this is a minus 2 times a, which our a is that 5x, and times 1. So if you recognize a quadratic like this as being a perfect square here and here, and that the middle term is 2 times each one of those terms that are being squared, then we can recognize it here as this second case and know that it will factor into some a minus b squared. And here our a is 5x, so a 5x minus our b is 1, and that is being squared. As I said earlier, this is really sort of a shortcut if you recognize it as a perfect square trinomial. And if not, you could have still used trial and error or the AC method to factor this polynomial. 